Faith Church, hope you are well today. There's a phrase that comes out of ancient Israel that we were reflecting on in, in the Life Together course that I'm a part of right now. And the phrase is this, cover yourself with the dust of your rabbi's feet. And the idea that that phrase pointed to was that a, a disciple in ancient Israel would follow his rabbi so closely that he would imitate that rabbi in all of life, become like the rabbi. Um, you know, the imagery is you're so close, you're, but at the end of the day, you're covered with his dust. That's how closely you're following him. And it points to this, this idea of discipleship is not just uh, knowing what the rabbi knows, but becoming like the rabbi. And it gets at the heart of something we've talked about a lot here at Faith, that Christianity is meant to be discipleship. That, that as a Christian, we are disciples of Jesus. We're following Jesus Christ through life. And so closely that we just don't, we don't simply just know what Jesus knows, have all kinds of good theology and doctrine and ideas about God, but we actually become like Christ in all things, um, not just in the way that we may worship on a Sunday morning or pray or read our Bibles, but in the way that we do our jobs, in the way that we do our chores, in the way that we interact with people out in public, in the way that we handle our money or our sexuality or you know, in every aspect of life. Um, and this for me is a challenge because uh, I don't know about you, but oftentimes my life feels quite compartmentalized. You know, I can really show up um, on a Sunday morning or in a Bible study with a group of, or go out and serve as part of the church on, on in, in mission and feel like I'm, I'm really living the way Jesus will live. But, and then, but the rest of the time, I can easily just kind of fall in and not even think and consider Christ in the things I'm doing, the more ordinary, mundane, day-to-day -day tasks. Um, you know, you, you might spend time in the scriptures in the morning praying, um, really focused on Christ. And then within a few minutes, you're off in your day and you, everything else is sort of it's it's a different compartment and um probably like you like you i sense that that's not the way god wants us to live that he wants us to honor him in all aspects of life um of all places in leviticus 17 and a chapter at first read which is pretty bloody it's all about the slaughter and sacrifice of animals this is a truth that i think comes out of here um, that we're going to explore on Sunday. This is, I encourage you to read the chapter beforehand, but it's really a chapter giving instructions to the Israelites about the proper sacrifice and slaughter of animals, not just for religious purposes, for atonement, for forgiveness of sins in the tabernacle, but when you slaughter an animal that you can eat for dinner as a family, there's ways to do that that honor the Lord. And in that idea, in this text, I think we're going to get some really helpful, relevant uh, encouragement about how we, as followers of Jesus, can, can honor Christ, not just in the religious parts of our life, but in really all aspects of our life. Um, so come um, open to learning what God has for us. I'm excited to share with you what I believe the Lord's put in my heart for Sunday. Um, Sunday, as a reminder, it's the first Sunday of the month, so we will be celebrating the Lord's Supper together. Always a joy to gather around the Lord's table. And it's first Sunday Sabbath, so there'll be a party going on between the services at between 10 and 11 um, in the courtyard. I hope you'll come early or stay late and be with us. So wherever you are today, I pray that you, you really do sense the love of God in your life and, and the grace of Christ and the presence of the Spirit. Peace.